What's going on YouTube? We just got the next project dropped off here at AA Fab. This one's a EG Coupe with what looks like a eBay setup, except for the mini RAM manifold. It looks like a sheepy. And right now I'm gonna be tearing it, tearing down the kit, and he'll be getting a new kit from us, as well as you know, intercooler, piping, he's gonna be getting a top mount manifold, a bigger wastegate, he's having a few creeping issues. It might be because of this two bolt style 38 millimeter flange. He most likely needs something bigger. So we're gonna get him a Turbo Smart 45 millimeter. And here's a, gonna be a quick time lapse of me tearing apart this kit, as well as the Bumper support here, gonna take that out to fit the bigger intercooler in there. So as you guys just saw, I removed the intercooler piping, the intercooler and the wrap, sorry, the uh, bumper support all together. I'm um, letting it cool down a little because I just pulled it in, so it is still hot. I'm going to turn this fan on here. Um, but yeah, after I took it off, I, re I saw a few things. It makes me glad that he's redoing it, like this pipe being squished like this. That definitely prevents the proper airflow from going through. And a big one I saw, if this would focus, you can see this big slash here. That's definitely not good. Big boost leak problem there. So I'm glad he is getting this all redone because that's something you can't really see when it's bolted onto the car. But stuff you gotta look out for. So we're going to be redoing this for him, hopefully using less couplers as well because that can be a uh, boost leak in the future if one of the clamps come off. You wouldn't want that in the middle of an event or something. So just going to turn his fan on, let it cool, then we'll get this manifold taken off, take the turbo off of it, down pipe, dump tube, and we'll start the fabrication. So as you can see here, we got the manifold and turbo off, wastegate, dump tube, downpipe. So basically the whole kit is now off and it's a good platform for me to get started. Gonna start out with the manifold first and go from there. One thing I saw also was the way this drain was set up, basically just the way you see it there. And you really never want it to come down and back up because the oil will get stuck here and not drain from your turbo back to your pan. So now he's going to be getting a top mount set up. So this 90 can basically come up and right to the turbo. Should be somewhere around here. And then it'll drain nice back down to the pan. That way it doesn't suffocate the turbo with oil. So yeah. So the intercooler core just came in for the Civic, 600 horse rated, and we are working on one of the end tanks right now. It's going to be single back door to the turbo, and then it'll be coming around and up to the throttle body. So right now, working on the manifold, 
Got the collector all done. Got one runner tacked up. So we're gonna go ahead and get these next three tacked up and then it'll be welding time. So here we have all the pieces for the manifold tacked together. All four runners and here we'll be using a Turbo Smart 45 mil wastegate to control the boost. So once she's welded up, we'll install the turbo and start the downpipe. So here we have the manifold all welded up. Reflatten the turbo flange and the head flange as well. So, I'm gonna bolt up the turbo now and the wastegate and mock it up on the car. As you just saw we got the manifold bolted up and next we're either gonna run the downpipe or mock up the intercooler and start the piping but for now it's bolted up got the wastegate bolted up so here we are with the final product got the intercooler and piping all done downpipe Sorry I didn't show that process of it, but it was pretty simple. Both the downpipe and dump tube come straight down. And we're using 3 inch intercooler piping using a Turbo Smart blow off valve and wastegate. So, yeah, the last thing I need to do is hook up the drain back on the turbo the new one will be longer so this short one is too short and once that's done the owner can drive it or trailer it home so that's a wrap for this one So as you guys just saw, I got the drain line plumbed up. That's what it looks like on the car. So now it drains down freely. Hooked up the uh, feed and a few vacuum lines to the blow valve and wastegate. So I am done with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up here. Show you guys what it sounds like. It's on regular pump 93 gas. Started right up. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share it. If you'd like to also leave comments, you're more than welcome to give any positive or negative feedback. 
and let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see. Have a good day.